Hi and welcome back to the Intelligent Auto channel. Uh, this is a, a part two to a video that I did last week or the week before. Um, this Volvo X no V70 cross country. Um, I'll put a link in the description below to the first video, but it had a, a problem with the four wheel drive. Um, there was no comms to the, to the Haldex unit on the rear diff. I've now got a repaired Haldex unit to go on it, so it's just a follow-up. First of all, the company that repaired the Haldex unit, I'd just like to give them a bit of a, a plug here, because I think they deserve it. The service was fantastic. So I'm just going to turn you around on the laptop screen and, and tell you who they are. I priced a, a new unit up from Volvo, and it was um, 1,358 quid. Now on a 2006 car, um, that's kind of going to write it off. So yeah, as I said, um, I diagnosed this vehicle last week with a, with a, a non-communicating Haldex unit, um, DEM as Volvo call it, which is Differential Electronic Module. Um, so I got put onto this company here, a company called Auto Fault Finder. Uh, they've got a website called haldexrepair.co.uk and they specialize in the repair of these four-wheel drive Haldex units. So I got the phone number off the website, as you can see, it's on the screen there. Give them a ring. Um, got some very, very sound advice off the guy on the other end of the phone. Uh, went through what I'd done to test the unit, um, which he was happy that I'd done all the, all the tests to ensure that it was actually a, a faulty unit. And he basically told me to send it down to him. Worst case scenario, he would um, replace it with a, a remanufactured unit, but he's pretty sure that he could repair this unit. And sure enough, he repaired it. I sent it on the Monday. He received on the Tuesday. I got a phone call on Tuesday afternoon saying the unit was repaired and ready to be shipped just to make payment, which I did. And I received it back before lunch on the Wednesday morning. So this is the unit here. Um, the unit here. I came back. As you can see, it's the the original unit, it's got the reg number on. Um, but I've had it, he's had it opened and he's and he's reworked where he had to rework. Um, I received this back on um, on Thursday last week, it's now Monday again. Um, and I went through the instructions which he provides, which are here. Just gives a bit of a how-to to refit it and uh, realized that I did not have this shim here, which is listed on the instructions. Um, the shim wasn't in the old Haldex unit. Um, it's obviously been off before. Um, so I rang him straight up and straight away he said, no problem, I'll send you one out. And then it turned up in the post on Saturday morning. There it is there. So I'm now ready to refit the unit as per the instructions. And we'll put it on the car and we'll see, make sure that we've got we've got comms with it and see if we can get rid of the uh, fault which was actually an anti-skid fault on this vehicle it was coming up on the display with an anti-skid fault so it was a traction control issue obviously because the haldex unit was non-communicating so i'm going to build it back up i'm going to video putting it back on the vehicle and then the acid test will be when we uh and get comms with it make sure we can get rid of this uh, anti-skid fault so there we go got the unit ready to go in with the solenoids in the back so it's just a case of putting it back in here like so a couple of screws Just two, two bolts holded in. Sorry if my arms are getting in the way of the camera. Nothing I can do about it. A 
don't think we need to be ever so tight. We're only six mil. And then just plug the, the motor in the back of it. And then this wiring harness here is the actual powers, grounds and cans to it. So you'll have seen us testing in the in the first video. Again, there'll be a link in the description to that video. How I diagnosed this module to be faulty. So there we go back on easy as that so we're going to drop the car down plug a diagnostic tool in see if we can get comms with it and then the acid test will be when it starts up does the anti-skid light go off so we'll go for a, a global scan of the car there's bound to be faults here there and everywhere before the fault that concerned us was uh this one here was in the ABS. There was communication between control units. Communication problems with DEM. As I say, the DEM is the uh, differential electronic module, the Haldex unit, and that was a permanent fault. So if we just take a report there, and we go to the see that that fault still there. So. What we'll do is, we'll go back, we'll go for a quick erase. Before as well, you notice the DEM came up in the list there. Um, previously, on the old one, let's see if you look at the old, um, the, the last video, there's, there was no DEM in the list. So, we have no faults now. So we've got communication with the DEM here and in the ABS there's no fault which was a permanent fault for a communication with the DEM so the next thing to do is start the car up and make sure the anti-skid um, warning doesn't come up in the driver display and so here we are cycle ignition on I was getting a warning up in here for the anti-skid Go for the start up. As you can see, no anti skid one coming on now. So I'm going to call that a fix. Thanks for watching.